Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I have been gone for quite some time. Um, it has been so difficult to find the time to make videos um, because making these videos requires some work. I just haven't been able to find the time to, you know, prepare, set up, get all glammed up, edit these videos and, you know, life just happens. I have so many things to do. And I just haven't found the time to like make videos and every day that passed I'm like oh my gosh I want to make a video I want to make a video I miss being on YouTube um, and finally I was like you know what today is the day I am going to make a video so here I am um, thankfully I'm so excited to be making a video and getting this out for you guys I basically just want to share with you guys a couple of new products that I have been trying basically from like the end of December to now and um i just wanted to share with you guys just to like catch you guys up on things that have been trying and new things i've been using so we are just going to jump right into that okay so the first thing i'm going to start off with is skincare and i wanted to get a new cleanser and i was going to get the um the fresh soy cleanser um but they ran out of it so i just rebought my bosha purifying cleansing gel because this does do the trick it really takes away all your makeup and it's gentle on the skin doesn't have a fragrance and it just works really well and I love it and it's gentle like I said so I just rebought it but the only thing is that now that we're in the winter time and my face tends to get a little drier I feel like after I wash my face my face feels a little tight with this which never happened before so I know it's just because it's like winter time. So I, I'm kind of bummed because I wish they would have had the fresh soy cleanser that I was actually going to buy when I went to pick that up. Um, and they didn't have it, so I just went with this. But it's still a great product. I really, I still use it all the time. But it does leave me a little bit tighter than it used to because I guess my face is a little drier. Um, I also bought an exfoliant. And I don't know if you can see, like the sun is, okay, there we go. Um, this is the fresh soy face exfoliant. Um, I like to alternate between like a regular cleanser and then an exfoliant. An exfoliant. So I picked this up and I really, really love this exfoliant. It's a little harsher than the the Murad one that I was using in terms of like the little beads on your face. Um, you feel it much more, but I do like that because I feel like it's just like rubbing the, those dead skin, those dead skin cells. So. I do like it. It does not leave my face tight at all. After I use this, my face feels really moisturized. So I really appreciate that because it doesn't strip your skin of the moisture. It leaves you nice and hydrated, which is awesome because I need that right now while my face is a little drier from time to time. So again, this is the Fresh Soy Face Exfoliant and I really love it. The next product I have here is from Algenist. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And it is the Complete Eye Renewal Balm with um, Al uronic acid um, and this balm is supposed to prime and hydrate and um, treat fine lines and wrinkles and I absolutely love this um, eye balm it is so hydrating and so smoothing if you have a dry under eye area I highly recommend this because when I apply this it feels so soothing and so moisturizing and cooling like it's not supposed to have a cooling effect but I feel like it just gives me like this cooling effect and I just love how it feels. It's definitely great for smoothing and hydration. Um, I have like two prominent like fine lines under my eyes where usually my um, concealer creases and you know they're still there so that hasn't helped with that. But in terms of hydration and smoothing and using this as a primer for your concealer and your makeup, it's so amazing. I love it and it's so lightweight it doesn't feel heavy under your eye at all so you don't have to worry about anything caking up under there so i highly recommend this i really really love it it has such a lightweight consistency it's just so creamy to the touch and it's really really amazing i really love this and a little goes a long way these these eye creams and eye balms are so expensive but at the end of the day um you don't need a lot to cover like your under eye area so it's really not that not that bad so yeah, this is the Algenist Complete Eye Renewal Balm. I love this stuff. Okay, so a while ago, um, I tr like the first time I ever tried Mur Murad products, my face like made a complete 360 degree change. My face was so amazing. It was so like baby smooth. I had no like 
issues with texture or like acne or anything like that and I was just like in love with my skin and I felt like it had a lot to do with the Invisibler perfecting shield so I have been having issues with my skin lately um, I keep breaking out and then the breakouts go away but then I, I'm left, left off with like dark spots and it's just so irritating when you have like issues with your face um, so I went ahead and decided to buy this to see if it would like help improve my skin because I really do feel like this did a lot to my skin when I first tried it. So I went ahead and bought it and it's the Murad Invisible Invisibler Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 30 and this is supposed to treat, blur and protect your face. It's great as a primer under your makeup. It I really do feel like it puts like this shield on your face like another layer and protects your face and then it has SPF which is also amazing when you're going to be out in the daytime and I and it also helps to mattify so it's really good because it does so many different things it's also anti-aging so it's like a little bit pricey but it's worth the money I feel because it you know targets a lot of different things and you can use it by itself and like I said it gives you like this nice layer on top of your skin and it helps mattify and it's just an awesome product. I really do love it and I really do think that it works. So I highly recommend it. And I've been using this and my skin has improved. Um, I mean, this is not for dark spots or anything like that, but my face has improved and the texture has improved and I really love this stuff. And it also works like as a smoothing primer um, before your makeup. So if you're interested in that, I highly recommend you pick this up. Another product that I have been trying out and that I absolutely love is from Urban Decay and it's their Obstacle Illusion Complexion Primer and this is the smoothing one with rose hip and argan oil and it's also pore perfecting and this is what it looks like um, it's a really long tube um, I love this I'm in, obsessed with my Lancome um, La Base Pro smoothing primer but as usual you know us makeup lovers we like to try new things so I really wanted to try this out and it comes out when you pump it like with this pink consistency and when I first tried it out I was like oh my god this thing is really thick like it's it is thick and I'm like this is gonna end up leaving like those little um, patches that the makeup forever um, mattifying primer used to leave on my face um, but ap actually it doesn't do that it blends into my skin really nicely and it is so smoothing like it leaves your face so baby soft um, it does leave a, a slight white cast on your face, but that doesn't show once you apply your foundation. But it's in terms of smoothing, it really, really works. I really love it. It, it goes so beautifully. Like, my foundation sits so beautifully on top of it. I really love this. It's been substituting my Lancome um, smoothing primer ever since I picked it up because I really, really do enjoy it, and it works well with a lot of my foundations. So I highly recommend this. I had also bought the mattifying one. But I ended up returning that one because, I don't know, mattifying primers, I just have like this love-hate relationship with them. Like I want to love them and I want them to work and a lot of them do work um, for a certain amount of time because eventually I still get greasy. But in terms of the consistency of mattifying primers, they tend to like not work well with my skin so I don't know I ended up returning it and I stayed with the smoothing one and I absolutely love it so I do recommend it if you are on the lookout for a nice smoothing primer don't be afraid of the consistency when you first touch it because it is thicker than most that I've tried but it blends out very smoothly onto your face so next up is this blush from Tarte and it's called Parte and I absolutely love this blush it's the blush that I have on today and it's just this nice mauve everyday color that goes with any makeup look it's perfect for the daytime it blends so beautifully it's so long wearing like this is the i think this is the first tart blush that i have used and i just love it i love the color i love how long it lasts i love that it blends so smoothly it doesn't look patchy or like like show up like it doesn't accentuate any dryness that you may have on your skin so i absolutely love this blush i've been wearing it forever and yeah, highly recommend Tarte blushes if you haven't tried them out. Okay, and the next product I have here is from Becca. And it is their Soft Light Blurring Powder in the shade Golden Hour. And this is what it looks like. This is the packaging. The packaging is so 
freaking gorgeous it's see-through and it's just so fancy looking it looks so nice like just to have on your vanity it's just so pretty just just the packaging alone makes me love it but anyway this is a setting powder and it is supposed to blur and give you radiance and help with um shine and just give you this nice natural finish and the inside it's not a, a white powder it has this like peachy peachy color to it like a peachy i don't know peachy tan color i don't know um it has color to it so i don't know how it will show up like if you have fair skin but for my complexion it works perfectly i absolutely love it it is so finely mailed and i really do feel like it gives you I'm, I'm wearing it today and i do feel like it gives you a nice radiance it does not look cakey it does not look like dry or anything once you apply it i really love it it's a great replacement for my laura mercier um translucent powder that i always have been using i'm so happy i picked this up because i really do love it I love the finish that it gives it's really really nice um, so I have been enjoying this powder as well it's perfect to set your makeup you can use it under your eyes as well and it's just bomb so highly recommend this again it's from Becca and I love 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 okay guys lastly of course I had to try out some new lip products um, throughout all this time that I have been gone and I have four lippies to show you and the first two I'm going to talk about are from Bare Minerals. And this shade is the shade Weekend, and it's what I'm wearing today. Let me swatch it here for you guys. This is the color right there. This is just a perfect, like, peachy nude. I absolutely adore and love, and I'm obsessed with this color. I'm, I've been wearing it nonstop, and it's just so amazing. Um, I've never tried anything from Bare Minerals maybe ages ago i don't even remember but their lipsticks definitely not and they are so moussey and buttery it applies so softly like i feel like it's gonna slip off it's so soft and so amazing to apply on your lips and it feels so moisturizing and comfortable i don't feel like it's settling into any fine lines it's not like um it's not a bulletproof um lipstick i can tell you that from right now so if you're one that does wants your makeup to like like never come off this is not for you because it isn't transfer proof like it does like smudge off because it is so creamy but I don't like those lipsticks that are like thinner in consistency because those are the ones that dry up like super fast and like tend to not come off but I feel like they're so drying and they just accentuate my fine lines like crazy so I don't love those I prefer a more moussier um consistency and these are definitely very moussey and buttery and creamy and i love them and they smell amazing and i just love so yeah that's weekend and this one is called friendship and let me swatch this one this one is more of a mauvey color also everyday type of color these are the colors that i always go for it's right here and it's a everyday type of nude lipstick you can wear it with a lot of different looks as well it's perfect for the daytime these are just the types of lipsticks i always have in my bag to just throw on whenever i need to touch up or anything like that i absolutely love these like i said super creamy and buttery love 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 i'm in love okay the next lipstick i have is from urban decay and it is from their vice liquid lipsticks and this one is called trivial and let me swatch this one right here for you guys it's right here this lipstick um is definitely more of a like when i've worn it i feel like so girly because it's more on the pink side and usually i go for like peachy nudes or like mauvey colors and this one's definitely has more pink to it so i felt like so girly every time i've worn it and it has some sheen to it but it's also really pretty it's nice to try something different not always stick to the same colors so i really like this one as well these are waterproof long lasting lipsticks it does last a long time the packaging is so pretty it has nice gold and like a pewter color and then you see the color through the clear um bottle here so i think it's really pretty and like i said it's so girly so loving that and then finally, the last product that I have here is from Smashbox. And 
this is one of their metallic colors. Let me see. I have the box here. This is the Smash Box B Legendary Liquid Metal um, Lippy. And when I first bought this, I thought it was a metallic like lipstick, but it is not a lipstick. It's definitely a lip gloss. It's super pigmented and they're not ta like tacky and super sticky or anything like that. They're very comfortable and it smells super, super good too. This is the swatch right here. This is called Mauve Squad. And I love this. I love, like, I really, really love metallic colors. They're so pretty to wear at night. They're just awesome. There's another one that I wanted to pick up, and it's the rose gold one. But I wasn't sure if that one would go nice with me, so I was scared to order it. Um, so I never did. I w I'd rather swatch it in the store. But I was sure that this one would suit my complexion well, so I did buy it. And I just love it. It's so pretty. It has a beautiful metallic um, sheen to it. The color's perfect and it's comfortable it's like i said it's not super sticky or anything like that and i just love them they are really really good i can't wait to get my hands on the other one i think there's only three of them the other one looked really really dark so i didn't gravitate towards that one but i really love this one it's a nice mauve color and it's just perfect right up my alley with a little bit of sheen just to change it up a little bit instead of always having that matte lip Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed um, taking a look at these new products that I have been trying out. Um, I absolutely love them. Thank you so much for watching. I definitely don't wanna be away from YouTube as long as I have been, so I will be trying to get videos up as frequently as I used to. Um, if you're a new subscriber, thanks so much for subbing and watching my channel. It, I'm, I really appreciate it. And for those of you who have been watching me for a long time, sorry that I have been gone, but I'm going to try and be back. I promise. Um, so yeah, thanks again so much for watching. And I will catch you guys very soon, hopefully, with a new video. Bye, guys.